Four mountains. Forty-eight hours. Four men. Sounds like a job for Hodgie Sykers. Hodgie's Hikers were one of 39 teams taking part in the annual Four Peaks Challenge at the end of June, organised by the charity Wooden Spoon. Starting on Ben Nevis in Scotland and finishing in Ireland, the teams would have 48 hours to complete the event in the quickest possible time. Wooden Spoon is rugby's charity supporting disadvantaged and disabled children uh, throughout the UK and Ireland. This is our uh, premier event in the sense that uh, it raises the most cash towards our work. Total Rugby was on hand to follow the fortunes of Hudgie's hikers. As the competitors relaxed before the start, team leader Rory Mackay took time out to reflect on their reasons for taking part. Two reasons really. Uh, Wooden, firstly, Wooden Spoon is, is a cracking charity, it does a lot of good work. Uh, and uh, the second reason, uh, one that's the main one for us is that uh, a friend of ours and, and John, our driver's son, died in November playing rugby and we wanted to do something to remember him by. Craig Hodgkinson suffered a heart attack whilst playing for the Royal Navy. His father and three best friends want to help prevent similar tragedies from happening in the future. Uh, electrical impulse on the heart and it only happens in young fit people. If there was some kind of um, defibrillator close at hand it, it might have saved Craig. So the intention is to put the defibrillators right the way through all the rugby clubs in the west of Scotland and hopefully the Premiership. The boys would be taking one of Craig's prized possessions with them on the trek. Craig had a rugby ball. When he was a wee boy, he's always had a, a ball knocking about. And before we left our house, I said to Rory, let's take the ball and um, take it up and down the mountain and touch down the top of each, each point. Again, Craig would do something like that because he would just, you know, a bit of laugh and all that. In terrible weather, Hodgie's hikers set off. John sensibly decided to sit this one out. The scenery may have been spectacular, but the teams were finding it hard going, and there was a very unseasonal surprise at the summit. There we go. Just under three hours later, and the first mountain had been conquered. That was a monster. Tough work. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, where are we off to next? Elvalon. Elvalon, here we go. Let's go. On the road. With both Helvellyn and Snowden conquered in under six hours, it was on to Ireland. Last one. Karen Sewell. Let's get going. Got the ball. Ball speed with us every, every yeah, nice step of the way. Bringing the driver with us this time. Nice <laughs> charts. See you later. Anything to say for the camera? <laughs> Rory, you got anything to say? Traps are burning. <laughs> The finish line was a welcome sight for all 39 teams. After two days of non-stop travel and climbing, everybody was suffering. I should have finished off and dived down to the mud, yes. I mean, you're right. That would have finished it off quite well. Probably Craig's looking down and saying, you should have done that, Dad. So, yeah. <laughs> Maybe next time. Mission accomplished. And a lot of money raised for charity. It looks as though uh, the amount of money raised per team is a record, uh, which is uh, a great achievement. In general, rugby people are very special. They uh, support each other when someone's in trouble. They have a lot of fun, and the important 
blend of, um, if, if you like, having fun, but also being loyal to your friends and caring about each other, that is encapsulated in this one event. Almost £400,000 had been raised for Hodges Hikers, who had finished ninth overall. It was time to get the party started. Next week, we meet the presenter of Total Rugby in Italy, who's just made his international debut for Hungary at the age of 41. Join us then. <laughs>